What's up everyone? Shane here with ROA Off-Road. We have some exciting new trailers here and I want to introduce to you the XT17 family model. So this unit has a bunk bed, sleeps really comfortably for five people, maybe a little bit more if you want to squeeze, but come on inside, let's check out the inside and then we'll come back out and show you around. Here we are inside the family. This is a hard wall and rooftop so there's no hybrid no canvas in this unit as you can see we have our bunk beds here now just keep in mind that this is not a full tour this is kind of an introduction to the xt 17 family by mdc it is a new lineup of trailers that we're carrying mdc has right now we have about eight floor plans here in the united states last week I did the 16 Island. There's a 16 East West. I haven't done a tour on that yet, but we do have these units on the ground in Utah at our Experience Center. We'll be getting some in South Carolina very soon, so stay tuned for that. But you can reach out to us if you have questions and you wanna learn more about these. The thing that I love about MDC is they have tons and tons of videos, over a thousand videos online. So you can go out and binge watch and watch videos on this trailer. This is the American trailer so it is all mirrored properly if you watch some of the videos on mdc they'll be all everything will be reversed for australian spec but as you can see we have a booth here and this is a very very nice size booth this is very comfortable as you can see i'm sitting here i could easily put another adult here so it will sit for people comfortably now you have a two bunk beds right here uh this one during the daytime you can you know move this up out of the way and then it will actually lock in with this button right here up into this area. And then you guys, you can lounge. Of course you have some nice padded backing right there. But then at night you can drop it down and it comes with the ladder. This will go in here. The ladder will lock in with that. So you have the two beds and you can leave this into a table. And so a family of four can sleep in here comfortably. If you got a few more kids, you got a family of five or six, you could squeeze two more kids on this. You can sleep six people in this trailer. So really excited about this trailer. Lots of storage throughout, as you can see all of this cabinetry and the color scheme on these trailers is just beautiful. Look at this. And everything comes with a locking latch. So you press that and then you have to turn it. And once you turn it, it lifts up. You have the metal catch right there. And so that will go down and it does, everything is, has a soft close and then you can lock it in as well. Also storage underneath your booth here. These drawers will come out and they're actually pretty deep. So the kids could throw their clothes in here. And then of course you have some storage up here for mom and dad. These are not as deep. They are kind of slanted with the front of the roof. There's lots and lots of storage on the outside of this trailer. So I'll show you that to you in a bit. This is a queen size mattress. It's about eight inches thick with a pillow top and spring inside of it so um i haven't yet slept on these mattresses so i will when we do a full tour i'll do a tour on this and it will be an hour long video where i go into crazy amount of detail and i'll be able to give you really a lot of feedback taking it off road actually stay tuned mdc their crew and their their camera people along with the owner is coming out to the united states in a couple weeks we're meeting up in southern utah and we're taking a week-long trip through Moab. We're gonna be doing some gnarly off-roading footage. It's gonna be really fun. So stay tuned for that. And we're gonna put these things to the test and I'm gonna learn a ton, a ton of stuff about these trailers. But here's the trailer for now. As you can see, we have these Sirocco fans. They have the multiple speeds and then they also have timers. So you can turn it on and it will stay on for, you know, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever. And you can adjust the speeds. And they also rotate all over the place. Also, they won't hurt your finger. If you put your finger in there, they're pretty soft. Not gonna hurt you. The kids won't chop off their hand or anything. So some people have said that. Don't worry, they're not like metal or carbon fiber. You also have another fan over here. You have plugs, you have your, uh, for cell phone chargers, 12 volt and also USB chargers. These windows are also very nice. You have uh, screens here and then you have blackout shades to make it nice and dark. This right here is gonna give you some light and then also you can black it out and then you have of course your reading lights for nighttime reading 
one over on both sides so you can kind of keep the kids that light away from the kids while they sleep uh, also love that the kids have their own reading lights along with you know cell phone chargers 12 volt chargers and regular 120 volt outlets speaking about outlets and solar this is an off-grid trailer it comes stock with a 200 amp hour lithium battery. All of these things are optionable. We'll be able to here at ROA do some options for you if you wanted to potentially upgrade something. On the roof right now, this unit that we're in has 700 watts of solar. Pretty robust solar system. There's space to add more solar if you wanted to. Uh, definitely reach out to us and ask us for those types of details. Over here, you have some extra uh, kitchen space and of course a television that can swivel around and you can be able to relax as a family, watch some movies. Above, we got a microwave because obviously when you're out with kids and family, you want to cook something quick and fast and easy. There you have it. And above me, we have our Dometic air conditioning unit. So this unit will cool down the whole entire trailer. I'm not gonna go into a bunch of the specs. We do have a brochure and a sheet with all the specs. You can go down below. There's a link that you can click on and we'll be sharing some of the videos of this unit, the Australian version, 3D tour, and also a brochure that tells you the price, the specs, and all of the things that you're gonna wanna know that I'm not sharing here right now. In the, my big long tour, I'll go into way more detail. So let's go and check out below this area right here. This is one of the things that I love. That This is a nice tray where you can throw in cereals and breads and just miscellaneous food. Um, and I'll show you why I think this is a really cool thing in just a little bit outside. And then over here, we have the Norcold fridge and they do locking latches on everything. This, this, la this latch locks as well, but it's just a secondary latch. This is a 152 liter refrigerator and you have a little freezer there as well. And if you have a large family, there's a compartment outside where you can add an additional uh, 90 plus liter refrigerator as well. Down here, we have a little cubby you can throw some of your maybe pots or pans, things that you don't use as often down there. Up here we have our power center, and this is going to tell you your voltage, and you'll be able to turn on all of your uh, heater, water heater, pump. This whole thing has a lot of onboard water. You can check out all the specs in the brochure below, but you also have your fridge, your outlets, everything right here you turn on, and also a big battery disconnect but let's head over to the back side and the bathroom. As you come back here, we have the Theft Ford stove. This is a three burner. One of the things that I really like is these large plate holders. So these are pretty stable. You can also uh, take these off and clean them up, which is nice. And over here we have our sink and this is a hot and cold water sink. And of course, if you're cooking and you're not needing the sink as much, you can drop this down and have some more prep space. As well as that, you can drop that down if you're not cooking and just doing dishes, you can throw stuff out on that. Lots of storage. I also love the window back here that they have. You can be able to open this up. And if you're backed up to a pretty scenic area, uh, you can you know cook and check out the view while you're here. Also, I love, they've really put outlets everywhere throughout the entire trailer, right? So if you got a blender or a toaster or whatever it is, your coffee pot, you'll be able to put it right here and make your coffee, or you can put it right here and make it right here. So there is a good amount of cab counter space, especially for a coach that sleeps so many people. They've made, they've tried to optimize some cabinetry and counter space. This is a massive storage space all throughout. You have lots and lots of storage, and these are very, very deep. And of course you have these drawers that come out and are also very deep. The wood that they use, it is actually a plywood with a veneer on it, and it's a Falcata plywood, and they use this wood in a lot of caravans and tiny houses in Australia, just because it's about 35% lighter than most plywoods. But it is not a honeycomb or anything like that. It is actual wood, which I would prefer over honeycomb. And then of course you have more storage up here all throughout, lots of space for the family and the kids. We got a Furion, this is your hood, your vent, and also a light. And then of course you have your water gauges that you can turn on and off and give you the ability to read your tanks. So let's walk over into the bathroom. This is a wet bath. This is a cassette toilet. 
So you're gonna be able to stay off grid longer with this style of toilet. Generally a black tank, you know, once you fill up, you gotta drag the whole trailer into town to empty. With this, you'll be able to pull that cassette out and go dump it. If you're in the national forest, you go down to the vault toilet, you can dump it every day if you need to, or you can buy, you know, a backup one and have more extended off-road camp use. Um, over here, we have our shower with some nice little soap trays, also your towels and a rack for just more soaps. Down here, we have our little vanity. And this is a wet bath and you are out camping, so it's not massive, but you got sufficient space. You do have some cupboard space in here and they actually have some rubber gaskets here to seal up. And then you have lots of storage in here. So you'll be able to throw in your toilet paper or some extra little toiletries with the kids. This is a really nice space. If I drop something down here, I could bend down, pick it up, no problem, and be able to clean myself. So let's head on outside and check it out there. Okay, come on outside and let's check this thing out. So we do have a double step and this is a manual step. So just kind of push it out of the way and you can hit the road. Very easy to get to camp and pull that out. One of the cool things that I wanna point out is tons and tons of lighting outside. You can see all of these lights. And if you're out somewhere and there's bugs or mosquitoes, generally you wanna have a different colored light to try and deter the mosquitoes. And they include these on this. Right here you can see you have your ember. You also have a kind of dimmer light and then you have your really white bright light. So got your grab bar right here. One of the things that I love about all these uh, trailers, these Australian doors are amazing. This is the Aussie Traveler door and this thing is very strong and robust. This is a, an aluminum screen and it's pretty thick gauge metal. So a dog is not going to be able to pull through or break through this screen. If you're out hiking, you can see it is lockable so you can lock the screen. Also, this has this is a tri-mark door. So what tri is, is it locks in three different places. So you can see if you shut this door, it engages this locking mechanism. And when you're off-roading and the trailer's torquing and bending back and forth, this door, it's pretty much impossible to open. Some doors with a single latch, if the trailer gets torqued enough, it can pop the door open. There's no way, I've never seen one of these doors um, pop open because of that tri-locking mechanism. And then of course, you can uh, have some privacy, open these blinds and that will cover that window at night for sleeping. Um, coming back here, you also do have a latch to lock the door. Coming back here, we have the two spare tires and this is a four wheel trailer. So you got four or the tandem, you have the four wheels on the ground. You have a backup camera. Speaking about on the ground, you have an independent A-arm suspension. I will go into tons more detail in the full tour, but this has gas shocks, huge reservoirs with lots of oil for those washboards. And also you have a mega hub. So these are 12 inch brakes, very robust system, right? They have the mega hub, the tough tracks, this is their exclusive design. Um, they have all the camber settings where you can adjust the camber and the alignment on these pretty easily. They really have gone into a lot of effort to make a suspension that's one of the best out there on the market. They also give you a chassis, they say chassis, a lifetime chassis drawbar warranty. So they're very proud of their frame that they've built. Now, one of the things that I mentioned inside that I love was that little storage rack where you could put cereal and bread. The reason why I love it, because you can come outside and you can access it out here. Because when you're out camping, you really wanna be able to grab your food inside or outside. And this is something you don't see in a lot of the Australian style trailers. And everything, all these racks, these are all aluminum metal that's holding this together. So just really good, robust system they got here. You also have a table right here that pops down for some extra prep space or just throwing some stuff down. Over here, we have a little compartment with power, TV antenna, and then of course a little mount so you can install a TV. And for those uh, Americans, we can tailgate, watch our football games. Over here, we have the kitchen. Once again, you bring the outside kitchen 
to the inside and the inside kitchen to the outside. You have that three burner theft hood and then lots of nice storage. I love how they have the windshield right here to block you know, the wind. And also you can put, you have some extra prep space as well as this dish rack tray, or you can throw some stuff on there as well with a sink that provides both hot and cold water. I really like the design. You have a leg down here that supports the kitchen. So you're not gonna be over time putting too much pressure on that track system. The awning, you have a massive awning. It's electric, so by a push of a button, your whole awning comes out and there are legs that will drop down to support it and then you could stake it down as well as an annex. So an annex, you'll look around on this trailer, you'll notice that there are some clips throughout and these clips, you clip on some canvas that drops down, you have a floor and a full wall and roof annex system. So it encloses this entire trailer. So you could, instead of sleeping you know, four, five or six kids, you could sleep an additional five or six people out in this annex, throw some cots down, invite the kids' friends and just have a fun time. Or just kick them out if you guys wanna have some alone time inside, right? Get the kids out of the trailer. Um, over here, I mentioned a, another spot for a refrigerator. This right here moves up and then you're able to pull this out. And this is a massive tray, easily could fit a 90 liter or probably even larger in this space. Uh, maybe you don't wanna go too heavy, but it is, everything on this feels very robust. And of course, uh, MDC provides so many goodies. You have your backup camera that you would put in your truck. You also have some wheel chocks with this. I mean, just, that's one of the things that I really like is they really provide you with a lot of cool stuff and just kind of make your life more simple where you can just hit the road and go and have fun. And this is ventilated and you can see they have filters. One of the things that I like to point out is these doors. These are pretty thick doors and you can see they actually have a, a rubber gasket here as well as right here and as well as right here. So it's a triple gasket sill. And then these cam locks actually suck in. Anyways, I don't wanna to get too much into the details of things. The full tour goes into a crazy amount of detail. I just wanted to kind of walk you around it and show it to you. Uh, you do have this storage box up front and it is massive. This is part of your annex, gas assisted struts. This is your propane area and it does come with the smaller 20 pounders. But as you can see, we threw in a 30 pounder just to showcase that you can put two 30 pounds in there. So uh, it does come with a, of course, a heater, an air conditioner, and you have the, the 750 series arc jockey wheel with the Cruise Master D035, as well as your handbrake that you'll be able to use. Uh, of course, the Australians have designed it for America and given us our seven pin, but they've also given us that Anderson plug so you can be able to charge the trailer from your vehicle much faster. And this is just another storage compartment. Well, this actually is for your jerry cans, but if you wanted to remove that and throw storage in there, you could do which, whatever you want. Uh, of course, you have your light bar up front and you have lights all the way around the trailer, lots of storage. This is passed through from the other side of the kitchen, but as you can see, there's a lot of space in here, farther than I can reach. So you could put in some totes and have a lot of extra space. You do have the Truma and all of your fill stations along with your cassette toilet back here. Well, there you have it. The all new XT17 HRT family. Easy way to remember it is it's a 17 family. The box is about 17 feet long. So sleeps four to six people, a really, really cool trailer. I'm super excited about this company. Like I mentioned earlier, they're headed out here to Utah to go on an off-road adventure with us. I am probably gonna be taking this unit myself because I wanna take it with my power wagon and my family, throw my daughter on the bunk bed. She's gonna love it. It's gonna be so much fun. Stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed because you're gonna wanna see those adventure videos. The owner uh, from MDC, he's coming out. And one of the things that I love about him is he does go out and camp in these trailers. I've seen him on the YouTube videos. Like I said, they have a thousand YouTube videos. You gotta go check out their videos. And, and he's been out on adventures with his customers, right? Learning what they love about the trailers, what they hate about the trailers. And I always, you know, I once I had this guy tell me, man, you go on camping trips with your customers, you must be brave or stupid, right? And I'm like, why stupid? Brave, yes, because guess what? When you go out and you're camping with, with people, you, you have to be able to stomach, hey, I have an issue. You have to be able to stomach some criticism. 
But a true innovator and a person that's passionate about what they're doing and what they love, they don't mind to go out and camp with their users to be able to learn what they can do to improve their products. And MDC has been now almost 19 years in business. These are, uh, some of these units are their 15 year anniversary editions. They're coming out with new innovative products and you can see it. You can see there's a lot of attention to detail. I haven't seen some of the attention to details in other caravans that I've personally have used and owned. I've owned other, you know, Australian design caravans in the past myself personally. And there's definitely some attention to detail in the MDC lineup that you ha that I've not seen in anything else. So really excited about this product. If you're interested, go down, click on that link. We can get you a brochure, a 3D tour, and any other information you have. Reach out to us at 801-860-0035. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for the full in-depth tour that I will go into every single detail on this trailer. Stay tuned for that.